Well, has your child ever come to you saying they've been a victim of bullying? Well, Yale researchers report in some cases, victims of bullying are two to nine times more likely to report suicidal thoughts than other children. And in fact, government statistics show 20% of American students in grades nine through 12 have been bullied. But one Central Texas school is stepping up to address that issue. Tonight, Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza shows us how Harmony School of Innovation is teaming up with six wrestling champions to help put an end to bullying among young people. Anti-bullying is taking center stage here at Harmony School of Innovation, and kids got to meet some very special guests. All of this excitement to open up the conversation on a very serious topic, bullying. For me, as a wrestler, I deal with bullying online a lot. Professional wrestler Thunder Rosa says she's seen it all. Bullying in school was pretty tough out there. So, um, and I didn't have the resources where I can go to my teacher and say, hey, you know, I'm being bullied or anything. It was like, I feel alone. She says it took 15 years to overcome those bullies and feel comfortable in her own skin. I don't care if people don't like my accent. This is who I am. I'm a you know, second generation uh, immigrant and this is who I am. And I love everybody and I want to show that you can respect people even when they don't respect you. Bullying hits close to home for wrestler John Peterson Jr. I've dealt with when I was younger, but also my daughter's dealt with, and now my nephew is dealing with it and everything, so it's something that's near and dear. He says there are several ways to overcome bullying. If you just ignore them sometimes, they'll go away. Sometimes, eventually, you have to stand up for yourself. And, and the thing is just teaching these kids the right way to do it. No time to right now. I've always heard in my life, you know, like you, you're, you're this, you're that, you know. Today's speakers showed kids of all ages that there is light at the end of the tunnel. No matter what happens, you can always persevere from it. You can take that pain or, you know, those situations and you can always find a way to grow from it. All of these speakers, just like you and me, have experienced bullying one way or another. Today's message, believing and loving in yourself. In Waco, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.